at MLB Network and a great look there at Rogers Center in Toronto. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the Detroit Tigers and the Toronto Blue Jays. Hello again, everybody. Baseball is back. Welcome to our special opening day broadcast on MLB Network. I'm joined by Dan Plezak. And, Dan, as we get things going this season, it's pitching that has to be key if this team's going to have success. Hey, just like any team, pitching is going to be the key factor for this ball club as the year plays out. I'm sure the staff will have its ups and downs, but putting together some quality outings early in the season could do wonders for this club getting out of the gate with a good start. The games count starting now. Opening day on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Getting close to first pitch here. Let's listen in to public address announcer Alex Miniak. And now, your Toronto Blue Jays. Quickly now, we'll look at the two men who are entrusted with the starting pitching assignment here to begin the new year. With that, let's get you a look at the starting nine for the Tigers. Mark, what do you have on this lineup as they go for their first win? Matt, do you take a look at this lineup? I find myself thinking back to my playing days when I knew I had the ace on the mound. It had to be win day, and when you get in a car to drive to the yard, you tell yourself, even though you felt bad about it, just get two or three. All the pressure's on the big boy to have to execute, and he usually does. Look for this lineup to try and execute and score, manufacture one or two runs early in this one. All right, guys, time for a look at how the Toronto Blue Jays set up on defense today. And we get to watch one of the best right fielders in the game today. He brought home gold last year. We know a right fielder profiles as a huge offensive producer, but this guy covers a ton of ground all the way to the foul line with a strong throwing arm. Play ball. Three. Yeah. Coming to the plate now, that number 78. He's right ready field. for his first number A.B. here in this one. First pitch of the at-bat. And it's belted high and deep into right center. But that'll be up, off up, the wall up. in right center. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Not every day that you see a ball come off the bat like that one did. And looking at it again on show track, we see it a lot faster than it came in. 113 miles an hour. Couldn't have hit that one much better than that. Standing in now with Batting runners four. in scoring position, Benito base. Coronado. And he could give his guys Coronado. an early lead if he can come through here. Now a swing right, and he gets him to pop it up. Ramirez backs up and takes care of it. Two away. At the plate, William Stewart. He'll get that to take his first cuts here. The left fielder, William Stewart. Rounded right, to the right, right. Yeah, yeah, right, scooped up on the backhand. Throw on to first is in time, and the Toronto rally goes for naught as the inning is over. Blue Jays leave a pair. Still no score. Digging in, number 78. He'll swing it from the left number side right here. It's very difficult being a switch hitter, and very rarely do you see the same hitter from both sides of the plate 
He's a far superior hitter from the left side as opposed to the right side. Line to the right side, but foul. up and the 0-2 pitch and another foul ball don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone three foul balls in a row he wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch grounded up the first baseline and he'll step on first himself for the out So coming to the plate, Michael Jang. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim Michael last time. Jang. Swing and he pops him up. Jenkins is there to make the catch and the side is retired. Down in order go the Tigers. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. So stepping in, number 78, one for Number's two with a double on the ledger so far. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. No balls and a strike to count. This is the situation where there's a lot of pressure on the infielders if the ball is put in play on the ground. Both the guy at first and at the plate are burners, so a double ah, play is going to be tough. Out. Even getting one out could be a challenge. Only play to the pitcher covering, and the runner moves into second on the play. Stepping into the box, now Henry batting. Ramirez. He flew out Henry. in his last at-bat. Ramirez. He pulls this one into right. In there for extra bases, and there goes game. He'll get it into second, but he'll be in there with a double. Wow, I was starting to wonder if we had to go on no hit alert, Dan. I know you were privy to that. Sixth inning right here, they finally break through with their first hit of the game. And, and you have to wonder, d -Row, this guy had been cruising all along going into this sixth inning. We'll see if he can be able to buckle down right here. The sixth and seventh innings are... And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Danger averted following the two-out double. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Settling in now, number 78. He's working on a one for three thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Park trying to get there, and it's fouled away. Three runs, seven hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll be off the wall in right center. And he is in the second with a two-out double. This right here is a difference between an average hitter and a very good hitter. The average hitter probably doesn't do anything with that pitch, but this guy goes down and gets it, muscling it to the outfield for an extra base hit. Now at the plate, Benito Coronado, runner in the scoring position base. with two gone. Ready to Coronado. Good here, good here. Right here. He is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. And as a pitcher, that's always tough. Looked like he got a bad break on some of those calls, but he's got to learn that sometimes the calls don't go your way and you've just got to move on. That's something that young pitchers can have a hard time with, though. Striding in once again, William the Stewart. Fielder, William Stewart. This is on the ground over the first. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Blue Jays leave a pair. They lead it three to nothing. Well, there 
there's another save, but that's just not any other save. That's save number 50 for the reliever in his career. Well on his way to a nice career. 3-0 the final score in this one today. The Toronto Blue Jays took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Alexis Pacheco earns his first win of the season. Angel Castellano was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.